Hi there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ufon and I'm a blessed mom to four beautiful kids and I'm thankful to God for his blessings because children are blessings from God. Anybody can have children but parenting is an intentional decision one makes to give his or her children a great head start in life and that is what this channel is all about. Helping moms, dads and parents to be to become great parents. So today we're going to talk about positive discipline. And before I move on, I would like to say that I'm not a, a doctor, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a pediatrician either, but I'm a trained accountant. I'm a mom that loves reading and I would like to share with you. So welcome once again to my channel. Today we're going to talk about positive discipline. What is discipline? Discipline is a word that is often misused. Many people equate discipline with punishment or at least believe that punishment is a way to help people achieve discipline. However, discipline comes from a Latin word disciplini, which means follower of truth, principle, or venerated leader. What are the truths you are helping your kids to follow? So without wasting much of your time, let's get right into the video. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Positive discipline is an approach that does not include excessive control or permissiveness. Positive discipline is one of the keys to raising a capable and confident child. Instead of raising your kids on a punishment model, you need to focus on connection. And what do I mean by connection? Helping your children feel a sense of belonging and significance and punishment don't help children feel a sense of belonging and significance so one of the positive discipline tools that we are going to look at is the use of firmness and kindness at the same time for example if there's a set rule in the house i mean the rule that you help your child understand why such rule is being set because Positive discipline is based on mutual respect and cooperation. You as a mom, you have to be firm. You won't want to be a type of parent that your child will like, mom doesn't mean what she says. So firmness handled with kindness produces positive discipline. If your child notices that you're not the type that, you know, keeps your word, you are becoming permissive and that leads us to the second one which is permissiveness people who don't believe in punishment often go to the other extreme you know to become too permissive permissiveness is freedom without order a child can do whatever he wants oh as long as we are happy you get to choose your rules later in life that's not right. Permissiveness teaches irresponsibility in a child. So, do away with permissiveness. It doesn't help a child. Thirdly, reward and punishment. This is the most popular form of excessive control used by parents and teachers. They believe that when children are caught doing good, you give out reward. And when they are caught doing bad, you dole out punishment. This is not good. What if you are not there? That child will do whatever he wants, right? Children don't learn to be responsible for their behaviors. Remember, the purpose of positive discipline is to achieve a long-term positive result as well as responsibility and cooperation now. When you help children know why they are doing a particular thing, they will cooperate and they will learn to be responsible. So that's it for today. Let me know what you think on the comment section. Like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss a video. The part two to this video will be linked up here. Thank you so much for watching and talk to you next time. Bye-bye.